Hi YouTube, hope you're all keeping well. Um, a question I'm often asked is which echo unit is the best for achieving the sh sound of Hank Marvin and the Shadows? Um, as some of you are probably aware, there's been uh, numerous units used by Hank over the years. Um, you can check that out on the TVS Speciality website. Um, but of course, back in the early days, Hank Marvin used a Miyazaki drum echo unit. Um, and then he moved on to um, the Baby Binson, as well as various Roland units in the 80s, along with the Elysis Q2s and Q20s, and more recently the TVS3. Now, I'm very fortunate at the moment that I've got six echo units of various price range in my possession. Um, starting with the first one, which is the Zoom G3X. Um, you can pick these up for about £120 second hand and Hall's Echo Patches. Um, Ross Hall, who is uh, the son of Charlie Hall, um, they're about £80 the patches. So uh, yeah, for £200, that's that one. Uh, next unit I've got in my possession is one you may have seen me use before. I've just bought another one. Um, the Hall & Collins Signature Echo Unit. Um, these are about £600 brand new and uh, developed between uh, Charlie Hall and John Collins, who sadly passed away recently. Um, developed in collaboration to be as close to the original Echo units as possible. So we'll be hearing that in a moment. Um, then we go back to the late 80s, very early 90s. Um, wonderful era. I was a very young man back then. Um, the Alesis Quad GT. Uh, this is programmed with Echoes from the past. Um, you can pick these up second hand for about £100. Um, this is the Quad GT, which is the guitar version. Um, the Q2s and 20s were, of course, vocal processors for studio effects. But that's the Alesis Quad GT. Um, and then, when I can pick this up, we have an Alesis Q2 and an Alesis Q20. Um, both of these units programmed with Echoes from the Past, and these units were the same as the ones that Hank used in the late 90s era for the uh, Reunited Tour, I believe, in 2004 as well, um, just before we switched to TVS3. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got a TVS3 anymore, but uh, that may change one day, and if it does, I'll update this video. Um, but I have got in my possession a very beautiful, rare old girl, a Vox Short Tom Echo. Um, now, the Shadows never used a Vox Short Tom Echo, as far as we know. Um, Hank may have used a Long Tom. In fact, there are some pictures of Hank using a Long Tom um, around the period of the Rise and Fall of Flingle Bunt, but uh, we're just including this purely to throw a spanner in the works as such. And uh, So you're going to hear a series of passages from the song Wonderful Land. And uh, it was played on each one of these units, each bit of the passage, went in order. This so six parts, sorry, six sections of Wonderful Land played in, um, in order. And uh, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on which you think is which. Um, I'll be revealing all in another video very shortly. Until then, keep the sound alive, and I'll speak to you soon.